Hi, in this video, I'll show you where the scientific notation is on the TI-30X calculator. It's right here. Let me zoom in. It says EE, and it's above the X inverse key. And because it's above the key, you need to press the second button in order to access it. Now let me show you how it works. Let's say you have 3 times 10 to the 5th divided by 2 times 10 to negative 3rd. This is supposed to be positive 5. All of this part here that says times 10 to the power of, that gets replaced by EE. But then because EE is, is above the key, the whole sequence is second, EE above X inverse. So it goes like this. 3 times 10 to the 5th, all that goes in here. Second, EE divided by 2 times 10 to negative 3rd. And don't forget that on a scientific calculator, the negative key is separate from the subtraction key. The negative key is here. Again, times 10 to the, all that is replaced by second EE. So three second EE, on the screen it only shows one E. Five divided by two second EE, negative 3. And you get this answer, 1, 5 followed by a bunch of zeros. So you could count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So it's 1, 5, 0, 7 zeros, put in the commas, and write your answer that way. But the whole point of scientific notation is so you don't have to count the zeros. The whole point of scientific notation is to look at the number and tell right away what kind of order of magnitude it is. So on the TI-30, if the number is very long, maybe 11 or 12 digits, then it will automatically switch to scientific notation. But until things get that long, the calculator shows numbers in this long form. So maybe you want to force it to go scientific notation. And here's the place where you force the calculator to go scientific notation. This key, that says scientific or engineering. SCI or ENG with the slash. And again, because it's above the key, you need to hit second. And then the key is the DRG key. So press that, second DRG. There are three choices here. The common format is called floating point with long digits or long decimals and it's the default. Alternatively, you can have scientific or engineering. Scientific notation is what we're doing now. Engineering notation is like scientific notation except that the power of 10 here, they move the decimal around to force the power of 10 to be in multiples of 3. Press the arrow key and enter to force scientific notation. And our answer is now given as 1.5 times 10 to the 8th. If you're used to scientific notation, then you know it's in the order of 8 zeros, meaning in the hundreds of millions. Because 6 zeros make a million and 2 more make hundreds of millions. But that may be a little hard to do. So the engineering notation simplifies that. Let's go back to second DRG and arrow to engineering notation. Now the answer is 150 times 10 to the 6th. It's easier for most people to recognize that 10 to the 6th with six zeros is million. So the answer is 150 million. That's scientific and engineering notation on the TI-30. 
30x. Hope that helps. Bye.